a tender sun, succumbs to the grey sky. Paths spiral to the unknown. Oblivious for which turn to take. Trapped, going in circles. So long here, and nothing to show for it. Frustration. Time to pull over. Call it quits. Dad! Are you ready? The bus will be here any minute. Hello, sir. Are you waiting for the bus to that, take you to the springs? That's right. Yeah. Home for the old souls, young hearts. This way, sir. Please come. You'll be fine, Dad. Buckle up everybody, we'll soon be reaching the place of your dreams. Don't worry, just assume that everyone here is older than you. <laughs> Trust me, for the first time in my life, age is the last of my worries. By the way, I am Adam. Mom, I hate to add it to this. I don't think I gave you a choice. So eat it or go to bed hungry. I also don't like these vegetables. Dad, you know that vegetables have the right amount of fiber and iron. And matter, which is good for my age group and my medical conditions. I know. I know, Dr. Vincent. <clears throat> Dad, uh, we were thinking You've been spending a lot of time at home recently and you'd been advised by the doctor to go out more often. And uh, they say that men over the age of 50 should at least indulge themselves in mild cardio three days a week. But Grandpa goes for morning walks every morning. Dad, we were thinking of this place for you. Is Grandpa going to an old age home? It's not what you think, Dad. It's a lovely place. Vincent and I have been there today only. You just have to go in the morning and come back home every night. It's a nice place, Dad. And I mean, it's, it's nothing like the home for the aged or the retirement home, Dad. This is different. Way different, Dad. Mom, please. I don't want these vegetables. Eat it, Daniel. Dad, please consider this. Just this once, Dad. It's not that you need it, Dad. But I think it would be really good for you. Uh, you can interact with people of same interests like you. Or maybe you can find someone with whom you can play chess. Or... Um, Dad, you could uh, show them your stamp collection, someone who could admire it. And you could talk to people who share same interests and goals like you. We all just have one goal. To die peacefully. Please, Dad. They have mentioned on their website also that they have this old Melody Mondays. So maybe you can show them your precious record collection. And Dad, you know that we would never ask you to do anything that wasn't good for you. Mom, please, I don't want the vegetables. Can I get the ice cream? Daniel, eat your vegetables. They are good for you. Good morning, sir. 
Welcome to the Springs, home for old souls, young hearts. Uh, may I have your name, please? Walter. Walter Morgan. Welcome, Walter. Uh, do you need any assistance while I register you in? Ma'am, I found this in the music room. I think it belongs to Miss uh, Jacob Matthews. Ah, Isabel Jacob Matthews. Of course, I've seen her wearing it. Good you found it. It's very precious to her. Excuse me, can I have a look? Um, yeah, sure. Thank you, Anthony. Thanks. Isabel? Is she here? You mean Isabel Jacob Matthews? Yes, but she won't be coming in here. Isabel is here? In fact, she's one of our oldest members. But she doesn't come to the center very often now that her son is here from the US. Um, is she someone you know? Alright, uh, so would you like to see our recreation area? Mmm, the vegetables are great today. A sea breeze, crisp and purest, has breathed deep. Before, stuck in dark, awaiting the final breath. Now, the sweet escape. Now, ready to take the leap. No longer awaiting the inevitable. But frightened, as once was long ago. There goes your bishop. <laughs> hey, that's cheating. And to think of it, at this age you would be over this juvenile tricks. If at this age you think I am about tricks, you are mistaken. 
you can have one more turn. I guess we all deserve a second chance. I don't need your pity chance. Okay. Wow, this record looks really old. Definitely not older than you. When you smile, the whole world stops. <laughs> What's this? Some kind of love crap. It was long time ago. It's meant for someone very special. Really? So what's the deal? Who's she? Your wife? Are you a girlfriend? Huh? She's someone from my past. Oh, it's a long story. I'm all the time in the world. I love gossip. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Walter. Adam. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> oh, wow, nice. Jess, who's winning? Just waiting for some lady luck. Now that you are here, I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> uh, anu, I was just wondering if Isabel... Um, I'm sorry, Walter. Isabel won't be coming in today evening. Um, she might be here tomorrow, though. Okay, I'm gonna leave you too. Uh, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you. Dad, Natalie, Danny and I were planning to go to the beach house for two days. Uh, we could leave tomorrow and come back Friday. Tomorrow? Yeah. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay here. You guys go and enjoy yourself. Well, Dad, I mean, it would be a good change for you and I've already spoken to the people at the Spring Center. But, but I can't go. Uh, tomorrow we have a thing at the center. You know, it's Adam's 70th birthday and he wants all of us to be there. Well, Dad, uh, you can wish him the next day. And uh, what if he dies tomorrow? He's getting old. I wouldn't want to miss his last birthday. If you insist so much, but I still don't understand that. And look so at the plants, they've also been completely so neglected. Amazing. Will you please make sure that the boys come and do this today? Sure. The entire lawn has to be trimmed. Sure. No more neglect and no more delay. Yeah. You please make sure it's done today. Yeah. Excuse me, Ali. Walter, I'm sorry, Isabel's not going to be coming in today either. In fact, her son came today and uh, took her name out of the center. Uh, he's taking her with him. With him? Yeah, to their home in US. For oh, good? I guess. I know. Do you mind giving me her address or phone number or something? I've got to give her something before she leaves. Walter, I'm sorry. I cannot disclose that information to you. What's the deal with you and her anyway? There's no deal. She's just a friend. She clearly means something to you. It's just... I've been carrying this since past 50 years. I gave up hope long ago. Never once expected the unexpected. And now, she comes back in my life. That, that has to mean something, right? I knew you were into all this love crap. Oh, it's not love crap. It's, it's just, it's just... It's 4181 Mount Mary Street. Her address. How did you? A hundred rupee note and a bottle of my son's expensive whiskey. Work done. Leave. Now! The leap. Like the first dance or the first kiss. Butterflies in the gut. Nerves in hyperdrive. The ledge lies ahead. This is it. Time to brave the leap. Ready. Ready for whatever happens next. Uh, I'm here to see Isabel. Uh, I mean, uh, Mrs. Jacob Matthews. I'm sorry, but Isabel, ma'am, has already left for the airport with her son.
Peter, oh my God, there you are. Where have you been? You had me so worried. You know the policy of the center, Walter. You can't leave without letting any one of us know. You, I just called your son. Anyway, just let me call him back to tell him that you're here now. It's okay, Walter. Why, Isabel? She is gone. Yes, Walter. I'm sorry. Let's go home. Come on. Let's go home. Dad, I don't understand why you'd want to stop going to the center. I made up my mind, Winston. Please. Okay. We'll go to the center tomorrow and get all your stuff back. There you go, Walter. Some of the things from your locker. Your books, your chessboard, and your stamp collection. Thank you. We'll miss you, Walter. Excuse me, Anu. I forgot a record here last evening. Can I please have it back? A record? Yes. I left it here when I went away yesterday. Oh, wait, are you talking about an old gramophone record? Yes. I'm sorry, Walter, but Isabel took it with her last evening. What? Who? You know Isabel, Miss Isabel Jacob Matthews? Isabel? Yeah, she stopped on her way to the airport. You know, she wanted to say goodbye to all of us and she took the record with her. And what did she say? She smiled. And? And the whole world stopped. Life. A story you tell others. A story with so many details. Climaxes, falls and rises that the listener is on the edge of their seats. By the end, they still don't get it. Only the owner of the memories knows their true beauty. All you can say is, you have to be there. It's taken me forever and a day to realize life has only just begun.